Yo, what's going on, your boy Ghost here, and today I'm bringing you guys a little Warzone 3 video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new meta loadouts for the new Season 3 Reloaded update. Finally, we got the much awaited uh, HRM nerf. The Ram also got nerfed, the Sever got nerfed. A lot of weapons that are, I guess, currently the most used finally, or yet once again, got nerfed. And now there's true potential for the meta to get shaken up, get something new, and hopefully refresh the game. We also got the Battle 27 coming into the game. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But with that being said, let's get into the top five. And for our first weapon, we have the Tempest Razorback. Now, this seems a little bit random, but stay with me. I'm going to give you guys my reasoning as to why I'm putting this in the top five. Um, for one, in the patch notes, they didn't really necessarily buff that many MW3 ARs like crazy the mcw did get buffed it got buffed pretty slightly the F fr 5.56 got buffed as well i got a whole rework done and you know those guns are i guess probably better now but before this update there's really not that many ars that kind of stood out or made a name for themselves in season three so far like nothing has really become meta out of the ar class the sva is getting a little bit more attention now in its burst mode so if that doesn't become the meta i kind of expect a weapon like this to become the next primary meta and the reason i say that is because i actually used this weapon a couple weeks ago accidentally i was trying to use a different weapon but this gun was really really good if you guys actually want to go and look at the gameplay i'm gonna link it in the description just so you guys can get an understanding because the base of this weapon right now is really really good and so then they decided to buff it and today's update where they increased the mid damage from 26 to 20 or to, to 26 from 22 and then the minimum damage went up from 18 to 22 make this gun significantly better when it was already really good and if you like i said you watch my gameplay you will see that i was completely frying with it so if people actually go into explore with the mw2 weapons because there's some actual gems in there which we'll get into a little bit later um i think that they'll find something good out of the tempest razorback now that's not like that's also assuming that the bow 27 like doesn't become like really broken or the sva doesn't take over if those two weapons don't take over they should really look into the MW2 weapons because there's some good stuff here. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not just saying this to say this. Literally, I'm going to link the gameplay in the description. I want you guys to go take a look at it because this gun was frying. With that being said, let's move on to the next weapon. And if we have the next weapon, we have the Striker. And I do think this gun is probably going to become the next meta following the HRM nerf. Um, obviously, I don't know how good the HRM nerf is yet. Um, if it turns out to still be pretty good despite it getting nerfed, I wouldn't be surprised. That's just how they do things. But hopefully they got it right the first time, or I guess they got it right this time around. Um, but this gun, the buff at least, did really, really good. It got the minimum damage from 23 to 28, and the mid damage range from 30 meters to 35 meters. That's very significant, I feel like, for the things that got changed. And it will allow this weapon to 100% be more competitive with whatever goes into the meta if it's not this. Because, you know, you got honorable mentions like the Striker 9, Wasp 9. Those guns could potentially also be taken a look at. But I have... I feel like the Shrek has a good chance, and it's going to be curious to see how we come out with the new meta by the end of the week. I just want to see which SMG gets chosen, because I think there's a, you can make a case for a lot of them. Uh, but the Shrek right now, I think, is my favorite to land in that meta spot. But with that being said, let's move on to the next weapon. And again, we have another MW2 weapon, and this one may seem like an even bigger reach, because, you know, most people probably haven't used the STB recently, but this gun right here yeah this the one man i thought this was the top three ar coming into this uh, update ever since i started or yeah ever since i started using it because i got put on by a viewer this gun is amazing and if people don't actually experiment with it they will never understand how good this weapon is and in my opinion like i said with the lackluster ar changes to most of these guns in this season's uh update i just don't see how the stb shouldn't get any attention now obviously you got the sva burst fire like i said the bow may come in and maybe the mcw with its slight buff could potentially get considered for those meta spots but if they're not like living up to the expectations move over to this stb man i'm telling you guys if they actually come out and experiment with mw2 weapons if the community as a whole goes back to the mw2 weapons they're gonna find some gems man and this is one of those gems Watch the gameplay. I'm going to link in the description down below. Um, this one right here, but genuinely very surprising how good this weapon is. And I'm really surprised that it took me this long to figure out that this version of the STB was insane. Because my lord, bro. It kills so fast. The recoil is non-existent. And yeah, you just have to use it. Because you'll be pleasantly surprised if you use it. But with that being said, let's move on to the next weapon. 
And here we have the Wasp 9. Now, right here for me, this is probably like second in line to become the next potential meta for the SMG class now that the HRM is nerfed. Um, again, assuming the HRM's nerf actually worked, I would have to pick it between three, like I mentioned earlier Striker, Wasp 9, Striker 9. Those are the three SMGs that I'm kind of looking at to become the next meta. Um, I'm cool with any one of them becoming the primary one. Uh, but this watch time, the reason I'm putting it here and calling it second, because it got slightly buffed. Only one thing got changed, and that was the sprint to fire time. Uh, from Or I guess from 110 milliseconds to 66 milliseconds. Now, that seems pretty significant, because that means you'll be able to pull up your gun a lot faster when you're running. And for the people out there you know, that play that aggressive play style, or even just in resurgence, I think this gun might be the go-to, because it's going to be faster. A lot of the times right now, the meta SMGs that you want, they want you want to be mobile, obviously. You want to be fast, movement stuff, blah, blah, blah. And with that happening with the Wasp 9, this gun's already pretty powerful, and now you can pull up a little bit faster now, I could see this gun being looked at as the next meta. Now, again, the Striker, for me, is like my number one. The Striker 9 is an honorable mention. But this Wasp 9, I would not be surprised to see if this gun overcomes all of them and just becomes the next meta. I'm completely fine with that. I enjoyed using the Wasp 9. I really thought this gun, gun was going to be meta in Season 2 when it first happened, because that's when it got significantly buffed. It just never happened because they tried was still really good. Um, but now, times have changed, and let's hope that change has finally come. But with that being said, let's move on to the last weapon. And last but not least, we have the DG58 LSW. Now, this gun is, I would say, the most underrated LMG currently in the class. That's unfortunate, because it's actually a pretty solid weapon. And this is, yeah, it's kind of my reach, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of my reach in this top 5. Um, although it got buffed in this update from like the damage multipliers from 1 to 1.1, nothing too crazy. Um, I just, you know, more than likely it's not going to get that much attention, I got to be honest. But the reason I put it really is just because there's nothing that stood out to me in these patch notes. Most of the primaries didn't really get significantly buffed at all. There's nothing that really stands out to me that's like, oh my god, that's probably going to be the next meta. Uh, nothing really stood out to me. And to be honest... This is all setting up for the Battle 27 to kind of come in and become the next best primary, which I wouldn't be opposed to. I wouldn't mind the Battle meta. Um, but if the Battle really is really good, that's probably going to be the number one option going you know, going forward. But the SVA Burst Fire and even the Subverter that got slightly nerfed this update, I would say, those are the three weapons that are probably going to be experimented with. But if people were really serious, man, you'd go into some of those MW2 weapons and really look. But with the stigma around MW2 weapons, probably going to you know, make people stay away from from them which sucks because like i said if you take anything away from this video the stb please use it that gun will not let you down and if any if everyone gets on that wave it's going to become the meta i swear it will but uh regardless man if you did enjoy this video hit that like button if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah man go get some dubs some of these weapons i'm out peace